Now, Brady, of course, replaces Jameis Winston, who led the NFL in passing last year with more than 5,000 yards and became the first player in Tampa history to reach that threshold. But that obviously isn't the whole story, or he would still be there. He also led the league with 30 interceptions, which made him the first player in NFL history with 30 touchdowns and 30 picks in a season. He was his own personal 30 for 30, as people joke all the time. So if this is it for Winston in a Buccaneers uniform, he is the only player to throw a pick six as his first and last pass attempt with a franchise in the last 40 years. He threw seven pick sixes last year, the most in a season in NFL history. And you guys know that I'm, I'm sort of the last man standing on the Jameis Winston Hill. I have not given up on him. But the question becomes, what is the right place for him to go now to ultimately reach whatever potential it is we believe he has? Marcus, I will start with you. I heard, uh, I think it was uh, Shefty or somebody said it, but I agree. I think Pittsburgh. Um, and I'm thinking Pittsburgh because of Mike Tomlin and culture. We saw Mike Tomlin win games with Duck Hodges at quarterback. We saw him stay in games with Mason Rudolph. And obviously, Big Ben Roethlisberger is there, who is kind of in that same sloshy vein as Jameis Winston. Obviously, not throwing the interceptions, but big physical quarterbacks, uh, that type of offense that likes to throw the ball downfield, takes chances. Pittsburgh may be a good landing spot for Jameis to go sit. I believe this firmly, Greeny, and you saying you're the last man to die on the hill. I'm not sure if I'm standing up there with you, but I will say I've seen guys benefit from having the opportunity to step away from the game and actually watch it being played and have an opportunity to prognose, diagnose things, see things in a different light than going out there with the pressure of starting. Maybe that's what Jameis needs to invigorate his career and try to understand why not to put the ball in the harm's way. But that, to me, that would be a good landing spot. It wouldn't be any pressure for him to play. And Roethlisberger is built similar to James Winston. What do you think, Dan? I, I agree. I've warmed up to Pittsburgh for Jameis Winston. My reasoning is this. We're obviously in a very unique state when it comes to the NFL in the offseason, right? I don't think it's a good time because Jameis Winston, the reality is he needs to kind of remake his career, re kind of reset his career in the NFL. And it's just not going to be a good offseason to go do that because you don't want to go sign somewhere and, and kind of be the presumptive starter in an offseason where you don't know when you're going to be allowed in the building. You don't know when you're going to be really uh, able to sit down with your coaches and start studying that playbook go somewhere where you don't have the pressure of having to play right now the pressure of having to play and win games as the starting quarterback without any kind of offseason go to Pittsburgh and understand that my job is to come here and get my feet wet again and learn this offense and not have the pressure of going out every single Sunday and leading our team to a win and because of the uniqueness of this offseason I think it's best for Jameis Winston to find a place where he can be a backup and learn and breathe without the pressure of having to win football games. The reality is this, Greeny, he's got to learn from his mistakes of the past and he needs to have the opportunity to apply them somewhere in the future. I just think it's best for him to do that as a backup role right now. Yeah, I agree with both of you guys. I've come around to that. I'm not giving up on Jameis, but I do think, look, the guy's been the starter since week one of his rookie year. The opportunity to learn behind a veteran is probably a good idea. Frankly, in Tampa behind Tom, might be the best. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.